Hey guys, it's me Arthur and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. In this season of Fear, we'll be continuing to cover Halloween creatures, today's being the Candy Lady. This Texas urban legend revolves around a spectral, sometimes vampiric being who lures its child victims with sweets. She comes out at night, tapping on children's windows with her long fingernails and promising them candy if they only but come out of the safety of their bedrooms. Those who do are either never seen again or found dead, missing their eyes and with their pockets stuffed with candy. This mythical figure bears some similarity to the character of Lucy Westenra from the novel Dracula, who used candy to lure children into Highgate Cemetery where she would promptly devour them. Another possible influence would be the Mexican legend of the Toad Woman, who has a similar MO. It would appear that the cultural function of this folktale is to discourage children from trusting strangers, and that unfamiliar women can be just as dangerous as men. Since the figure is humanoid, we're going to start out with a very sort of standard shape, and I think that we should do a portrait image so that we can focus more on her face. When doing the outline for her clothing and hair, try to go for a very regal, sort of almost Victorian look. There's something very old-fashioned and kind of unsettling about that. For the general feeling and aesthetic of the character, I'm imagining something between Harley Quinn, Pennywise the, Qu the Clown, and Ursula from The Little Mermaid, but you can do whatever you want. Just put, sort of put your own flair on it. Remember to add your own fears to it. We're going to skip ahead here just a little bit and after I've done the makeup so that we can focus on sculpting the face a lot more. Let's add a very sort of dramatic, sort of almost Edwardian ruffle there. There's another interesting part about this legend where she's said to harvest children's teeth. She's often associated with tooth decay and tooth loss due to eating too much candy. So I'm imagining that she actually sewed the teeth of her victims onto her dress. I'm imagining kind of this big kind of cotton candy look for her hair. You kind of do like this uh, a beehive almost, make it look very spin, like it's very spun up and twisted. Kind of when we paint it, we should probably do like blues and pinks and purples in there and maybe draw some pieces of candy stuck to the hair. <laughs> 